guys, it's Ruby back again with another Las Vegas Buffet review. Today we are trying the weekday brunch here at Wicked Spoon inside the Cosmopolitan. They do breakfast and lunch offerings and all you can eat crab legs. Let's head on in. All right, we got seated here at Wicked Spoon Buffet. It was $38 per person, but we're Sterling members here at Cosmo, and what I did not realize is that once per month, you get a buy one, get one here at Wicked Spoon, which is amazing. We got our drinks, we got water, orange juice, Miss Ruby got coffee, I got some chamomile tea. We're gonna start with breakfast. There's a last show on the buffet, and I am hungry, so I cannot wait. Bacon. variety of kinds here. Look at that. Okay. Breakfast potatoes. Get some of those. Yum. Braised eggs. Interesting. Wicked cinnamon French toast. Wowie. Oh my gosh. That looks incredible. Yeah, it does. You just brought it out too. Brand new and fresh. Yum. Let's grab a pancake for good measure. Oh my gosh. Scrambled eggs with chives. Ooh, creamy. All right, so we're starting with the breakfast offerings. Now it is already practically 11 o'clock, so they did start to switch things over. You can tell they're kind of transitioning into lunch, but they had just restocked some of the items. I'm gonna start with braised eggs. So this is a soft, runny egg. There was feta and mushrooms. Let's give this a shot. That sounds unique. I'm excited to give it a shot. Super creamy, like very rich and creamy eggs. I can taste some cheese. It's giving this really nice like black pepper flavor. I can taste mushroom kind of on the back end, that umami flavor. Those are good. Runny eggs aren't usually my favorite, but that is like so creamy and smooth and nicely done. It's not watery at all. So those are really good, I did like that. Let's try the scrambled eggs, these have chives. A totally different texture, but so good. These are airy and light and fluffy. Um, and you can taste a little chive. I taste a lot of butter, so butter is coming through really strong with those. Those are definitely more of the traditional egg, but I liked both. I really don't have a preference. I think they're both good. There was a lot of bacon out. Let's try a little bit of bacon. A satisfactory piece of bacon. <laughs> no complaints. Some potatoes here, they were like a roasted breakfast potato. Those are a little bland. They could use some kind of seasoning to those. Um, they just taste like they've been kind of fried. There's like no actual seasoning or flavor to those. Little dull. Everything else has been good besides those so far. Those just don't do anything for me. All right, this is the French toast. It's a cinnamon roll strawberry French toast. This looks ridiculous. Wow, I'm so excited. That is so good exactly as promised. You're getting a cinnamon roll flavor, but then you taste the egg mixture of the French toast. Heavy cinnamon. There's that strawberry on top. It's kind of like a cool fruit flavor. Yum. Absolute must get. That and the eggs so far are really standing out. They're really good. They also had pancakes, so let's try a pancake. See how it is. The pancake's good, but in comparison to the French toast, knocking out of the park. So if you're gonna save space, I would say grab one of those eggs, grab the French toast for breakfast options. Those were amazing. We're gonna go see what else they have to offer. I know they have a bunch of carving meats. We also saw crab legs. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Look at these crab legs. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hi. Can we get slow roasted chip loin, please? Chip loin. Sounds amazing. You want the end card or you want a middle piece? Um, a middle piece, please. You got it. Uh, ooh, and then I'll try the beef tri tip as well. You got it. Oh, yeah. And in the middle as well. A middle again, please. You got it. Wow. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Barbecue chicken with Alabama white sauce. That sounds amazing. Look at that. Wow. Angry mac and cheese. Look at this one. Yeah, that's the one we want. Yummy. All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for, the thing that is most important, carving meats 
and crab legs. They were piling these snow crab legs up to the heavens. Now they're steamed. I generally prefer chilled crab legs, but I mean, these look amazing. Let's give them a go. The meat is just like falling right off of the shell, no problem. Delicious, juicy, sweet red crab meat. There's so much meat in each of the individual claws and in the legs, it's, it's really good. They have butter there, they have lemon, so I mean, if you're coming for crab legs, you're absolutely gonna get your money's worth here. All right, on to our carving meats. So we got a top sirloin here. They did have a lot more options. They had a sausage, they had some more chicken. I just wanted to grab a few that we could actually like finish and try. So top sirloin here, let's give this a go. It was really tough to cut through this with my knife, but it is just like falling apart in my mouth. It's incredibly tender and insanely moist. This is like one of the most moist pieces of meat I've had on a carving section. That surprised me, that's really good. We also got the tri-tip, let's try that. That's a little fattier cut, we'll see how it is. I'm generally not as much into tri-tip, but we'll give it a shot. The tri-tip is fine. Like I said, it's a fattier cut, so it's not really to my taste as much. It tastes a little bloody to me, if that makes sense. But I think if you are a fan of tri-tip, both of these were prepared perfectly. They're very good. Um, this chicken looked really interesting. It's a barbecue chicken with an Alabama white sauce. I don't even know what that means, but I'm excited to give it a try. That is really, really good. That Alabama sauce is a, like a honey mustard glaze. It's real sweet. There's a little bit of honey there, um, but there's tang. And then the chicken is like so soft and moist, like insanely moist. And you got a little bit of crispy skin. This chicken is delicious. That is the winner for sure on the carving meats. That is so fun. Something a little unique. They also have the angry macaroni and cheese. I remember this from last time we were here, which was a long time ago, but oh my gosh, this was so good last time. Let's try it. It's the Oreo Cats pasta and then a real spicy, cheesy sauce. Let's give it a go. When they say the angry mac is spicy, they mean it. This is actually hot. Like it's like a serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper hot in the back of your throat. Like it's actually spicy. It is good. It is so good. That and this chicken, blowing out of the water. This round, like if you're eating this chicken, this mac and cheese, and these crab legs, you're gonna have an amazing buffet experience. So 10 out of 10 here. Pork sausage and leek white ragu. Ooh, wow. Holy cow. Spring lentil salad. This one is marked gluten-free. Let's get some wicked fried chicken. Team flats. Bone marrow. Ooh, this one's got a ton of pickles on it. Braised short rib, pickle red onion. Wow. Mr. Ruby's eyeing this cream spinach. There's some chips over there too. Ah! Oh no. Here's where the chips are. Got some chips. Ooh, these Caesar salads look beautiful. Mmm. All right, look at these beauties. That's a pork carnitas. Let's get one of those. Ooh, it's warm. Plate. Got some veggie samosas. Yummy. Beef and lamb gyro, um, yes please, that looks so good. So we just kind of grabbed a wide smattering. I will also say they are very good at marking what is gluten free and there are a lot of gluten free options. Uh, I am gonna start, I'm very excited to try the beef gyro. This is lamb and beef gyro, pita. Holy smokes, that is delicious. Oh, the pita is soft. The meat is tender and well flavored. The tzatziki sauce is like super, super creamy. And then they've got a little bit of pepper, onion, and cucumber on the top. Let's try this taco. It's a pork carnita taco. He was making these fresh. They've been really rotating well. It's very busy in here. People are eating a lot of food in there, doing a great job bringing more out. The meat is nice and soft. I'm really getting the salsa. The salsa's got a beautiful bite to it. A little bit of jalapeno juice. The food here actually has like some spice to it. It's nice to see. The um, tortilla is a little greasy, I will say. Just a little too greasy, but like the meat and the actual flavor of the salsa in it is very delicious. Vegetable samosas. Samosas are a South Asian, like Indian dish. It's a pastry that's filled with like a savory filling typically. So this is a veggie samosa. Haven't had one in a while, I'm excited. This section is kicking butt. 
Oh my gosh. The samosa has got a curry flavor. It's got spice, there's onion. But then they did this little like sweet and sour sauce underneath and the pastry is nice and crispy and like light. That Mediterranean kind of style section over there, go there, oh my gosh. All three of those were really good, but the gyro and the samosa, killer. They had salads, so they always do salad sections. You guys know I usually skip those, but these are like individually portioned, which I actually think is really nice. I don't have to like try to scoop out a portion of salad. Over on the salad bar over there, they also did have like breads, they had fruits. They have a make your own omelet station over there as well if you want to get an omelet. Let's try the Caesar. This is why I skipped salads. It's fine, it just tastes like a salad. But I mean, gosh, I would eat like 30 more euros and some more samosas. Carnito is pretty good with those two. Oh, let's get to the next place. Another random assortment here. Let's start with this. This is a leek and I think it was sausage ragu. It's like a thick, creamy sauce. That tastes like if you take the sauce from biscuits and gravy and put it over noodles. I'm not mad at it incredibly rich so I would only eat a little bit because you're gonna get full again though there's red pepper flakes in here like Wicked Spoon is not afraid to spice the food this is like spicy it's got good kick it's really delicious all right some red lentils let's try these this is a gluten-free option lentils are fine they could be a little softer I think they're a teeny bit undercooked um, I'm tasting like a rich broth flavor to them. There's some spinach there and some onion. But the lentils are a little off texture wise. Some, they need a little bit more cooking, I think. We gotta try the bone marrow, I'm really curious. I'm a little scared because it did look like it's been sitting. I think a lot of people are afraid to taste bone marrow. It can be really good if it's done right. There's pickled red onion. Let's try it. If you've never tried bone marrow, this is a perfect setting to try. These are really like, narrow there's not a ton of the actual marrow in the bottom for that textural thing it's just a little bit but then they top it with that really good braised beef and the pickled onions are sweet so it's like this is a really good beginner try if you've never tried it before it's really nice the flavor is excellent so i'm satisfied with it now they did give you some chips that you could get and then there was a spinach dip here and also some guac so i thought we would try both the the dips i'm an appetizer girl sometimes i just eat appetizers as my meal let's try these Spinach dip is excellent. It's creamy, it's light. You can taste the actual spinach in it. The chips are really salty and perfectly seasoned. They're homemade, they're crunchy, they're crispy. This plate hasn't been any downers either. That far section that's got like the Mediterranean things and like the salads and stuff, don't sleep on that section. There's a lot over there. All right, last time we were here, they had these chicken wings and they were delicious. I got some flats, let's try a chicken wing. It's really good. The meat is really tender. The outside is really crispy, crunchy. However, the chicken that we had with that Alabama sauce on it was so much better. I would get that over this, but this was so good. Overall, this round of plates was amazing. I'm starting to get full. I do want to grab a little bit of sushi, and then we have all these desserts to try. Ooh, let's get one of these egg rolls. These look amazing. Look at those, wow. Look how they serve the fried rice. That's so cute. Sushi time. Oh, veggie roll. And we'll try one of these spicy tuna as well. Oh, it's probably gonna be really spicy. <laughs> All right, let's try some of these Singapore noodles. Yum. Oh my goodness, give, give that a go. Okay, so we're getting way too full. I'm running out of room, but the Asian section did have a lot of food. They had Kung Pao tofu, peel and eat shrimp. They had mussels, they had the char sweet bao bun, but I grabbed a couple little things just to try. I grabbed sushi, we love sushi. Let's see how it is, it's on a buffet. Uh, this is the veggie roll, we'll try that. The rice is perfect, softly sweet. The veggies inside are pickled, they taste really nice. The wrapper's fresh, they're bringing it out a lot. That is how I want buffet sushi to be, it's very good. Let's try the veggie fried rice. It comes in a cute little takeout box, I love that. Oh, that's really nice, it's light. Not a soy sauce heavy flavor. I taste ginger coming through a lot. I almost taste like a fish sauce. I don't think that's what's in here, but I'm getting that kind of flavor in the veggie rice. It's really nice. There's carrots, 
a little bit of greens, but overall it's just like a very light fried rice. Hmm. All right, these are some Singapore noodles. I see some sausage in here. They're really dark. They said uh, black vinegar sauce. Let's give these a shot. The black vinegar comes through definitely. Again, a really light noodle. Not too greasy or heavy. The noodles are kind of like still springy and soft. Um, I'm tasting a little bit of cabbage in there as well. Both of these dishes are real light. You're not gonna get like crazy full. They're not super heavy. So far so good. The sushi was really killer, you guys. Very happy with that. These egg rolls look exceptional. Like most egg rolls on buffets look very standard. These look really nice. Oh, the wrapper is crispy and salty. The inside, you can taste the tenderness of the wonton, but then you can taste the meat. You can taste the vegetables inside. Very well done, Asian cuisine. Very happy with the plate overall. I am getting so full. We have got to move on to dessert, you guys. These are beautiful. Cheesecake! Look how beautiful these are. Cherry pistachio mousse cake. Look how beautiful these are presented. Oh my gosh, you guys. Guava. Yes, guava cake. And tiramisu, of course. Yes. A bunch of gluten-free over here, but then the creme brulee is tucked back here as well. Oh my gosh, that's not happening. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Let's get a beautiful carrot cake. Oh, so pretty. Time for dessert. Last time I was here, I said Cosmopolitan had the best desserts out of any of the buffets I've tried. So far, they're already impressing me. The attention to detail in decorating these is just stands out. Seriously, they're gorgeous. There was a ton more desserts on the buffet, but I'm so full. So I just grabbed the ones that appealed to me the most, but they had like Rice Krispie bars and cookies and pastries and they had um, sorbet and gelato, so there was a ton of variety, but I've grabbed a couple of our favorites. We're gonna start by trying some cheesecake here. This looks gorgeous. It's just how I like my cheesecake, very dense, not super sweet, so it's really just letting that cream cheese flavor come through. The graham cracker crust is really soft. It's not too crumbly, not too hard. Just a very perfect standard piece of cheesecake, very good. This pistachio cake, with cherry is absolutely beautiful. There's glitter in the jelly in the top. It's, it's stunning to look at, honestly. Oh my gosh. I'm a huge pistachio fan. And that with the cherry is gorgeous. The little cherry filling is super tart. Super, super tart. So they've got a really thin layer there. And then the mousse on top is that more delicate pistachio flavor. And the combination together is lovely. A really nice texture. The jelly on top is just kind of like a soft addition. That's delicious, very good. I really wanna try this guava cake next. So the guava cake, again, they have that pink jelly on the top, really beautiful. This looks more light and fluffy. They're just, whoever is doing their pastry is doing an amazing job. Guava is a very delicate flavor. It's a very light sweetness. The cake tastes like a grapefruit cake to me. It's very tart, a very tart, more than a lemon cake. Like think just like grapefruit juice in a cake. Lovely texture, it's light and airy. This is the more airy and cakey of the desserts. Ooh, I don't know what I like the best so far. Maybe the pistachio, that was really delicious. Let's try the tiramisu. They printed little coffee beans on the top of here with the cocoa powder, which is just, the attention to detail is not going unnoticed. I noticed it and it's amazing. That's the best one, hands down. Wow, get the tiramisu. The espresso flavor is coming through so gorgeous oh my gosh it's like having like the best latte you've ever had in a dessert form that was exceptionally good my gosh okay let's try this cute little carrot bunk cake there were so many good ones to try but like guys oh my gosh we're gonna have trouble finishing just these let's try the carrot that one is just okay I taste the cinnamon I taste the actual carrot but it's a little mushy um, and not as sweet as I like my carrot to be I like it to be really sweet when I have a carrot cake. So that one, that one's just okay. All the others have been killing it, but that one, it's fine. Now, whoever came up with the little crispy crunchies on top of their creme brulee deserves a raise. Instead of trying to actually brulee it and have it get like soggy from sitting, they just put crispy creme brulee sugar on top so it's always crunchy the way that creme brulee should be. Is it cheating? I guess, but on a buffet, it's genius. The creme underneath is rich and smooth and cold and creamy. 
I can even see little bits of vanilla beans in the bottom. They still have the best desserts in my opinion out of any of the buffets. I think they absolutely kill it. Just finished up at Wicked Spoon, you guys. Overall, big thumbs up. This was even better than I remember it being, including the service. The service was incredible. She was always refilling our drinks. It was hard to pick a favorite dish. Everything was really solid. There was a lot of unique flavors. Everything was greatly seasoned. I have to say the pastry chef here is doing amazing things. These are the best desserts on any of the buffets. And this is overall one of the best buffets in Las Vegas. The price is right. Get in here during the weekday before 11 o'clock, get that brunch price. And yeah, I absolutely recommend this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next.